Okay, today we're going to turn this um, logo and Illustrator into a three-dimensional object in Blender. So I'm going to take you through that process from start to finish and we're going to do it pretty quickly, so let's go. So first of all, you need to make sure that the image that you've got inside Illustrator is actually a vector. You can just quickly check that it is all paths. I've just emptied the fill and I can see that it's made up of vector paths, so that's all good. Okay, then I'm going to save this as an SVG. So file, save as, and I'm going to call it um, logo for Blender SVG and I'm going to make sure that the file type is actually an SVG so scalable vector graphic. Reason for this is that is a file type that Blender can read. Go with this, the first one. Alright, that's all we need to do in Illustrator so we can close Illustrator now. Next thing we need to do is open Blender. There's my Blender icon. And we want to just make a new file general. Uh, notice that the default cube is selected. So you can um, select it, press delete. And then I like to work in the top view, bringing in my SVG. So I go 7 on the numpad to get into top view. And then I go to file, import, and I'm going to import an SVG. So you can see I've got into uh, the folders and where is it? Oops, wrong one. And what do we call it? Logo for Blender SVG. Okay, and you can see it's come in now and there it is. So we're going to select it using B and we're going to uh, change the center, go object, set origin, origin to center of mass surface. And you can see now that the centers are all in the middle of each of the parts of the graphic. And I'm going to press S to scale and G to move it to the center of my screen. Okay, so now I have my logo inside Blender. It's still flat. Oh, it's occupying two dimensions, um, but we're going to extrude it so that it occupies three dimensions. Okay, so here goes. Uh, what do I need to do to make it into an, uh, a mesh? I have to convert it from a curve, which is what it currently is, into a mesh. We'll just double check that I'm actually correct there. Go into edit mode. There's no edit mode because there's no mesh. So select one, then B and select the rest. So you've got light orange, dark orange, object, convert to mesh from curve. Then you can go into edit mode and you can see that what was once just a flat object is now made up of uh, vertices, that's those individual points, and edges and faces. So at the moment we're in vertices select, which is this one here, but we could go into face select um, and we could go into edge select. Okay, but at the moment we're just in vertices select, doesn't really matter. Let's go to face select. Press A to select all the faces and we're going to extrude all of those. So E, we now have a solid object. Okay. And you can see it in the different views. So you can see it as wireframe. You can see it as shaded. And I think we can even see it real time rendered, maybe. Okay, it's pretty black at the moment. And you can see the light shining on it. So uh, next, we want to play around with the materials that it's made up of. So we can change the material for all of it simply. Um, let's just work on the color. So go to the color, you can drag it up and 
improves the lightness so it goes from black to white um, or you can actually choose one of the different colors on the color picker so let's go with pink maybe as our base color and then I'm going to change some of the individual colors of the different parts so I might select one part and I'm going to add a new color and go new and this new color is going to be bright green yep bright green and then I'm going to make that object only have that material so select that one remove and you can see that that now has only got one material and it's that one so have a look at it through the camera view could probably size the whole thing up a bit bigger still I reckon let's go to B S and have a look at it through camera view it's looking pretty nice a little pop star logo and now if you wanted to take a render 